For many of us, quality medical care is as easy as taking a trip to the hospital. And for those in war-torn nations around the world, getting the care you might need could be impossible. Tonight, News A's Tim Blodgett introduces us to a teenager from Palestine who's hoping to one day get back on the soccer field. 14-year-old Ibrahim Abu Haktab has been in San Diego for two weeks and has already hit the best spots. He's been to the beach, he got to walk the beach, he went to the zoo and went to a San Diego State University basketball game. Ibrahim is from Palestine. He was born and raised in a refugee camp on the Gaza Strip. My father is actually really sick and it's a hard life for them. One day while playing soccer with his friends, a bomb exploded, severely injuring Ibrahim and killing some of his friends. It became increasingly clear that he couldn't get the medical attention that he needed in Gaza. Right now where he's living, it's an actual refugee camp. And so there's a lot of challenges, both obviously um, from a humanitarian standpoint, being able to get basic care right now. This is Nasreen Khatib, president of the San Diego chapter of the Palestinian Children's Refugee Fund, an organization committed to helping the children of Palestine get the medical attention that they need. In Ibrahim's case, he needs a prosthetic leg. He's at a host family in San Diego. The Hanger Clinic was generous enough to provide that treatment for his prosthetic. Total of about six weeks to two months, he'll be able to walk on a new leg. He has a true passion for soccer, and he's learned how to play with one leg, but it's never the same. So to be able to give him that opportunity to kick around the ball and run the field, um, you know, I'm just really excited to see him be able to do something that he really wants to do. Because the situation in Gaza is dire, Nasreen feels immense satisfaction that her organization was able to change the life of a young boy. The joy that we can bring him and provide him, it is really touching. And to be able to see that, you know what, we are putting a smile on his face. Tim Blodgett, News 8.